It has literally just been announced that Philip Schofield has just left this morning. Now, whether he was sacked or he jumped ship, we don't know for sure yet. But I reckon he was sacked. And they sacked him to keep Holly Willoughby. And Holly Willoughby didn't want him on the show with her because everything the guy was embroiled in made him too toxic. So he was too toxic for the show. He was too toxic for her. He had to go. Holly Willoughby is quite literally the golden girl of ITV. Now, she was reported as saying that she felt trapped and considered leaving the show to protect herself. You see, this is what all these celebrity showbiz types are all about. It's about their own brand. Now, if she really was that good a mate to Philip Schofield, like he said to him live on air when he came out as being gay <laughs> uh, during that episode, then none of this would be happening. But alas, she isn't. She is a completely selfish piece of work. And she also allegedly said she loves her work and does not want to leave, but is having a difficult time dealing with the ongoing situation. Now that's code for, I'm having a difficult time being associated with Philip Schofield because of everything he's involved in. And to be honest with you, I don't think she'll last long on that show either. Because like I said in previous videos, she is just as toxic. And she was outed by a few people and a few celebrity guests who wouldn't go on this morning if the pair of them were hosting the show. So uh, the clock is ticking for her as well, I think. Anyway, Schofield's come out with a statement and it reads, I have always been proud to cover fascinating stories on this morning, but recently this morning itself has become the story. Throughout my career in TV, including the very difficult last few days, I have always done my best to be honourable and kind. I understand that ITV has decided the current situation can't go on and I want to do what I can to protect the show that I love. So basically they sacked him. I was right, they did get rid of him. So I have agreed to step down from this morning, no you didn't, you were sacked, with immediate effect in the hope that the show can move forward to a bright future. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me, especially this morning's amazing viewers and I'll see you all for the Soap Awards next month. <laughs> Uh, it didn't name Holly Willoughby there, so it confirms really there is a feud, they don't like each other, and if he really is going to the Soap Awards next month, I bet good money he won't be sat next to her. And if by some miracle they do win a Soap Award, then she'll be the one going up there to collect it by herself. And that's that, so there we go, Philip Schofield is gone, his last episode was on Thursday, and you can tell there was tension there, it just looked wrong, there was no chemistry, nothing, they looked awkward. Holly Willoughby did not want to be there with him. So it'll probably be stand-in presenter Kermit O'Dreary until they can find someone permanent. And that's that. So what the hell am I going to make videos on now, eh? <laughs> anyway, have a good weekend folks and uh, Roger Trout.